Would you object to a guy if he took Coral with, you know? I got some input for this one. No. Oh my God. So well, I, I'll start again with Zombri, and we'll go around the table. Go ahead. Like, do you mean like a girl's body count or a guy's? A what? Like a girl's body count or a guy's? Like, typically, I mean, women are totally entitled mm -hmm. to prefer men who are not promiscuous or don't have a promiscuous past or have a low yeah. body count. I do tend to hear it a bit more from men mm -hmm. who tend to prefer uh, women with a low body count. Some women object to that. Do you object to men preferring women with a low body count? Um, do you think it's insecure? Do you? No, I feel like it's not insecure because I feel like if you've been with like a lot of people, then men aren't going to like take you serious. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's ridiculous just because like that's just in a place of judgment. You know, why are you trying to judge anyone? Like, I don't know. I think you should just have an open heart and open mind to anyone. And if you have like negative opinions, then like literally. Like, Didn't earlier in the conversation though, you said you wouldn't date a guy who's shorter than you? Yeah, but that's different than a body count because one it's is like you're born with it and one is like, you Choices know, you've made, yes. which could indicate poor behavioral choices. I don't see how it's bad. How is body count bad? Do you think if somebody should, should be judgmental towards their mm. partner or towards the person that they take seriously in a relationship? No, that's why I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know. The, the, just body count in general, I just don't see where it's bad, you know? I think and that kind of plays hand in hand with like the lack of standards where it's like you just want someone to love you unconditionally because there's a, like a level of a lack of self-awareness. You're just like, please, whatever I am, love me as it is. But because you don't have standards for other people, then you hope that no one else has standards for your behavior. But in common society, we need standards to make sure that we filter people who might mm -hmm. be dangerous or harmful to us or others. Mm, that's valid. That's valid. Speaking to a potential partner, I, I think it's valid to care about body count. Like, absolutely. Like, I, I don't think it's judgmental. I reject the premise that it's judgmental uh, toward men or women, but especially for, for men, I think it's like a, a strange premise to like care and like get all up in like a tizzy, like if the same energy is not exchanged. So if you wanna be with somebody that is not judgmental and yeah, they can be with whoever, then that's fine. But it completely is valid that I want a partner that I can rely on. I want a partner who I know um, will stay with me. And a lot of people find that proof in the pudding, which is their lifestyle. How many people have you been with? How long are your relationships? What was the context of your sexual or otherwise relationship? And I think that's important. Kayla. The question was like, what was it again? Like, do you, okay, body count, should it matter? And then do you object to men caring about a woman's body count? I think that it's stupid if the man has a high body count and they, like, want someone with, like, a low body count. Like, mm. it, it okay. should be equal. Mm -hmm. Like, does that make sense? Don't, like, go searching for, like, someone with, like, no, like, a really low body count if you fucked, like, 100 girls. Like, and do you find that valid. Do you find that that's kind of a common thing for men? Like, even yeah. men who've had a promiscuous past, they prefer women yeah. with low body counts. So, like, do you think there's a corresponding, you? like, women with... Do you think there's a corresponding, like, women with high body counts? Like, they're desiring men who are virgins? No. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, I, so I kind of like virginal men, but that's just a mic thing. Sure. It's weird. It's weird. I don't necessarily object to men feeling some type of way about body counts because I'm not gonna, I personally am not gonna go around getting with any man, being in a relationship with any man that slept with every, everyone because if you have this many body count, oh, anyone can have you. Like you have no standards for yourself. So I kinda understand if they would have some kind of standards for us where it's like, yeah, I would hope you wouldn't fuck this many people or mm -hmm. have this high of a body count. Sure. I mean, but then does body count define of how many people you're going to sleep with in the future? Like, what if that was your past? It's a good indicator. Mm -hmm. it can be a good. I indicator. mean, it could it could be a red flag depending on how it's looked mm -hmm. at. Yeah. Can I have you scoot your mic? Um, I do this every time, huh? Your answer. Um, no, I agree with her that if somebody has standards and preference, then that's their standards and preference. Okay. Mm. You, yeah, 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 you, you can too. you can answer. <laughs> mm, I don't believe that that should be a question partners ask each other at all to begin with. Okay, so then you do object to men having caring about body count. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I don't object to it. I'm on the same page. Did you thoroughly answer? Did uh, you? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I don't think men should care about uh, another girl's body count. 
Can I ask you both of you why? Like why why do you think that should not matter? Do you um, th and do you think men are insecure if they would care um, about that? I feel like it varies on the person. It can be from insecurity or it could not be. I personally, mm, I guess I'm gonna expose myself a little. My body count is a little high than I would like to, but mm -hmm. the reason why it's high is because I talk to a lot of guys and I thought having sex with them would make them want to pursue me or take me on a date or something like that. So I guess that's why I'm not, I'm saying like body count really shouldn't matter, if that makes sense. Sure. Um, what about you, why? Why should body count not matter or? Mm, probably the same reason as her. I feel like everyone has a past. Sure. And if you're getting into a relationship that you really want to be in, be in, you guys shouldn't be worried about your guys' past mm -hmm. at all. Okay. No and is it, do you think it's insecure if a guy prefers a woman with a low body count? Uh, yeah, I do think it's insecure okay. from personal experience. Carmen, did you answer? Uh, yeah, I said I don't object to okay. it. And so. Yeah. Um, I don't object to it. I, I had the unfortunate bad habit of asking guys for their body count, which would oftentimes surprise them. But yeah, no, I think that it's mm. very important for both men and women. And I think that it needs to be within the mm. same range where if you're a man who's had sex with a bunch of women, the don't aim for a virgin because you're going to abandon her the moment you end up yeah. hypothetically having children with her. They oftentimes are more likely to cheat. They're more oftentimes to give more attention to women and normalize the idea of, oh, an affair is just something men do. It's no big deal. They have no consideration for their for the emotional needs of their wife. Likewise, a woman having sex with a lot of guys can indicate, hey, if you know we're having marital problems, you might start to emotionally fancy another man and then be led astray. Hmm. Okay. So, a couple follow-up things here. Um, I wanted to address your thing where you said, well, if a guy who has a high body count, you know, it would be maybe hypocritical or a double standard for him to desire in a partner a woman who has a low body count. Yes. Uh, so I actually, I disagree with that. I actually don't have any issue with a man who has a high body count desiring a woman with a low body count. And I don't, I don't have an issue with a woman with a high body count desiring a man with a low body count. I tend to think that women with high body counts probably are much less likely to desire uh, sexual purity in men, but um, that is certainly what I think is uh, evolutionary and a biological difference between men and women. But what I would ask you is, when it comes to, well, if you've had a high body count, then you can't desire women with a, uh, you can't desire women with a low body count, or it's hypocritical. It might be hypocritical, for example, if a man with a high body count uh, was out, or who is promiscuous or is promiscuous, shamed women for their promiscuity. Now, again, I do think there are some differences between men and women when it comes to that. But overall, I would agree there, if he's like shaming women for their behavior, but he's partaking in said behavior, that would meet the actual definition of hypocrisy. Uh, but I don't think it's hypocr hypocritical to not possess a trait and desire said trait in a partner. For example, uh, I would argue that women desire all a wide variety of traits in partners that they themselves do not possess. So for example, uh, a woman who's not funny may very well desire a man who's funny. A woman who's short may very well desire a man who's tall. A woman who has no money, she may very well desire to date a man who's exceptionally wealthy. A woman who has no status, she might want to date a man who has a lot of status. A woman who's not a professional athlete would very much like to date a professional athlete. So I don't think it makes you hypocritical to desire, like need you possess a trait in order to desire a, that trait in a partner? And I think the answer is no. Um, I just think it's hypocritical because like, why do you want someone with no, like very little sexual experience? Why do you want to commit to because someone Because a lot of, lot of reasons. Chastity. But lot of you reasons. have a lot of sexual experience and like the other person doesn't. I'd also you want but why do broke women want to date rich men? You're not, you're not why rich. Why do broke men want to date Rich women. Rich women. They, they don't. But yes, they do. I beg to differ. My ex was. A, I look, beg to differ. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure you have a few examples. I have no doubt about that. But for the most part, men don't really care. And if you're a broke man who's going for a rich woman, like it's just, it's just bum behavior. But men and women are different. We have different sort of like interests. So I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna really value the chastity of a woman, whereas women might value that. And if they value that so much that they can't look past it, then I fully agree with your 
with your standards as well. If you're a woman who has a very low body count and you say, I don't want a man who has a high body count, then absolutely. Yeah, to each their own. Yeah, each to their own. But I do think that they value different things. Like, like Brian just said, women value men with resources. We don't particularly care about that. Women value height, strength, competence, capability, all of these sort of things. We don't really care about that. One of the things we really do care about, though, is chastity, is to know that we're somewhat exclusively, I've, I've, I've had your body and not too many other people. I would also say that although men can desire chastity in a woman, it's very rare for a woman who does value chastity with a low body count or a virgin to ever give those men attention. And that's why they tend to build resentment against the women that they can have because mm -hmm. they want that quote unquote virgin, but they can't have her because she already sees through what his intentions are. Meanwhile, they aim for the girls who lack standards or can't see through their games and they'll play with them and then they'll hurt them because they basically, uh, they don't respect them essentially. And that's also, symptomatic of how they're not masculine. I think it also shows like a level of like immaturity and just like irresponsibility for like, because sex for a woman is very different for like for sex with a, for a man um, in the sense that we can have kids, right? That's a big thing, um, you know, not to mention all the other things that I mean, men can also have, but I mean, I think that's just extremely irresponsible. But I would Earth say when it, when it comes to chastity, I would say that the reason that both sexes value chastity is for the same reason. Women don't want a man to be looking at another woman that's sexually provocative and thinking, oh, well, you know, mm -hmm. let me just lack discipline and go after her, and vice versa. Men don't want a woman who's going to be emotionally led astray by a man and then give him sex all be in the attempt of getting him to like her or in a, an attempt to basically say, oh, you've flared up these emotions in me. That means that now I have to give you sex or whatever. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for those of you, actually, well, we'll just go around the table on this. Uh, body count does not matter. What's your body count? Um, Starting with Zombri. Can I ask a clarifying question first? <clears throat> sure. Is that like, do you mean like penetrative sex or like foreplay or anything like that? So, uh, penetration. I would say penetrative <laughs> sex too, but I just, I like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think when the P goes in the V. Okay. Yeah. Miss kissing in middle school count? <laughs> <laughs> That's literally how I know. Um, I was dating someone for five years from 17 to 22, so mine's only six. Okay. How old are you now, sir? 26. 26. I lost track, honestly. I don't know. If I, like, I, I, didn't, I don't have a journal where I wrote down all the names, so I literally yeah. have absolutely no clue. Like, if you had to give a range, like an estimate. Like, I, I literally don't know. I have no clue if it would be like 30, 100, or over that. Like, I have no clue. Well, do you think it's over 100? I possibly. I'd have to, like, do hella math. I was dating someone for four years, but from, like, 15 <laughs> to 19, like, I don't know. There was, like, at one point where I was on Tinder, and there, there, I was doing it, like, every week. There was one time I did it twice in one day with two different guys. So, I don't know. Like, when I was younger, I was out here. But, yeah, I don't know. Couldn't please switch that out, but, like, I have no clue what that number is. <laughs> really. Okay. Truthfully. So, no sense of a range? Literally, it could literally be to anywhere between 30 to, like, 200, or, like, somewhere around that. 30? That's a big range. That's, 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 a that's huge I, I, range. I stopped writing it down after 15. Wait into the mic if you can, but, okay, yeah. it stopped writing down after 15. So, okay, anywhere from 30 to... 200. 200? Okay. That's crazy. Oh, I, I, did, I missed the number. That is a huge range. <laughs> please, but yo, yeah. if you're going to talk, please do it in the mic. Go ahead. What about you? Uh, I, I valued about the body count. I thought it was valid for the men to do yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, just since we're going around the table, care to share the body oh, count? Sure, one. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, like 30. Like 30? Yeah. Okay. Mine's four. Four? Mm, like nine. I thought you did a whole basketball team. No, I didn't. Yo, it's Kat, her friend, her friend no, gave I didn't. it away. You gotta put I said that I did two. Chris Rock seven dick curve. I said I did two, and then <laughs> yeah. she did the rest. So. Multiply it by three, and that's the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, what about, what about you? Mm, let me see. Maybe about eight. About eight, okay. What about you? I don't feel comfortable saying my. Oh come on! You <laughs> said earlier that uh, you know you. It doesn't matter. Might have been a I, lot. I don't want it to be up there. 
Nobody Girl, watches this podcast. Hers was 30 nobody to 200. Wa- no, no, my shame ex is gonna watch this. No, podcast. nobody watches this podcast. <laughs> oh, your ex. It's your ex. Yeah. Already yeah, knows who, who yeah. I know, but he doesn't want so it bad. out there. Two he doesn't want wait, it why out does there. He, but he's your ex. Why does he? He doesn't have a say yeah, on what's out there. Are you still fucking him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. Do you want to give a range? How about that? Is that more fair? Just say under something. It's around Kayla's. Twins. <laughs> Multiply it by three, and that's the real number. Carmen. No. Um, I do value it, but mine's five. Okay. Um, what what was the question that we do value it? Oh or? no, just no. What's your body what's your body count? Body oh, count? okay. Uh, I am a mythical virgin. <laughs> a what? what? The mi- mythical like, virgin. You know, like the unicorn. I'm the unicorn. Mm-hmm. Like up? born again virgin? No. So are you actually a virgin, or like, like I've never had penetrative sex. Oh, period. Oh. Like period. Oh. Period. I love that for you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is that cat? No. No. Wait, I trust. I trust you. Her first boyfriend was from I Xbox Live. I, I, I believe her. <laughs> that's true. No, that's like, Xbox that kids and penetrating like from yeah. Canada. No, I'm absolutely. <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified of diseases. Okay. And um, that was a good you're like a phobia. And so, even though I messed around, I literally like that was like a big role for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll come back to that really quick. But Angelica, what about you? Um, Closer to the mic, please. About like fourteen thousand five hundred and seventy-five. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey. I can count it on one hand. Okay, everybody already knows. 